which is basically social media and stuff. I, I have a terrible time with it, but I still use it. They won't make changes, so these guys are dying. That's what I am. I'm a dinosaur. I'm from another time period. These are dinosaurs that basically aren't prepared to move forward. You know. Well, we've seen that so much in the changing of the guard, whether it's it's companies, it's trade shows. I mean, like for example, we can see at a trade show when the trade show is going backwards because yeah. they change the po because of how they change their policy. Yeah. First thing they do is they cut back on press. When a trade show is 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 in a, in a bad state, they want the press that is not their press gone, mm -hmm. totally gone. I mean, they have, they always give you the same excuse. Well, we sit down and talk to the people that are paying the bills on the floor, and they want less press. And then you then you 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 then here's the trick: is that we occupy two different tiers. We occupy a tier down here, and we occupy a tier up there. The tier up there doesn't like the people down here, and we don't get invited. You know, because of that, we're perfectly welcome to go to events up here, but. We, they're saying, you know, we don't get to go to that case house, but we're sitting at dinner tables having dinner with the people, you know, that, you know, that they've changed the press policy this year and that they've, re they've cut back on 50 percent of, what do you mean they cut back? Well, because yeah. it's the um, organization that does that, whereas the people that are doing it, it's like, we have to pay this much amount, and they're hoping for all the press that can They need come. all the press they that can come because it's free, ever, it's free promotion, and they don't, since you're not, okay, here's the way it works. They're not giving you anything at the press events. Mm -hmm. Are you getting any? Are, you know, we used to get press. Just the press. Used, well, we're, we, we actually can remember when you had hot meals for the press. Mm -hmm. Now it's like box lunches if you can get a box lunch. But they have uh, in one trade show after another in this country is is shrinking. They shrink from the press division first because they'll go to the people that basically uh, okay. Here, here's another reason why we got fired is because we were writing reviews from the truth side. And it, well. it, 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 um, it offends people to tell the truth. You know, so what Mark Twain, I have Mark Twain, I write my own Mark Twain stuff. The, the, you know, the one thing that the people um, are, are, are least likely to believe is the truth, and they hate the truth. So, um, if you tell the truth, it always gets you in trouble. But that was way, you know, Pravda means truth in Russian. Mm -hmm. So you think Pravda is the most, you know, <laughs> you know, controlled publication in the world, but um, oh, really? That's yeah. kind of funny. Is that like our transparency? Our transparency, our transparency. For the is U.S. There government no, now, there is no transparency. But um, you know, you can tell the truth and get thrown off of, you know, get fired, or you can basically do the party line, which is basically suck up to everybody and then have a nice career. Well, we're we're still standing. We're still standing because what you do is you just, um, it's called, you move on. We were expecting it. It bothered, like I said, it bothered her when she read that this morning. It didn't bother me because I'd already been prepared we, for we, it We started ago. preparing a few days ago. Yeah, and then we also had articles that weren't up yet. <laughs> so they get to go elsewhere now. Mm -hmm. But um, it, it's just the way it is. It's, um, it's a modern world. You know, when, they, when you, you fire, it, like I said, it just, it just is sort of amazing to fire somebody that never worked for them. Mm -hmm. Because you said you were telling people you were working for us. No. Mm -hmm. You know, we specifically says contributor. We're very happy that it said contributor. The people, the ones them. Well, I, I put links, you and put then you, link. and you put the link. Yeah. So whatever the link says. I mean, okay. We have, um, we put, we have... I don't know, got awful amount of stuff over on CNN I report. We've got three of them that have been on CNN. We never even tell people we do things for CNN mostly. Yeah, we usually don't. We don't even tell people that because CNN is very uppity about that fact. They're getting less uppity now because they're because now they depend, find all those people. They depend <laughs> upon people to submit material now. But they've also changed their website, you know, um, their their thing a, a bit, which makes I know, and it's a third time to change it in the last month. So, but um, when you, you know you do things, there are publications in this country that basically hire a lot of outside people. We know people that are basically, you know, well, they, they, you know, I was featured writer and they rejected my thing because they changed the structure. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, when cutbacks also result in less staff working to edit, to, to do things. So they, they want you, um, you know, because I, I, I was in, when I was in college, I used to write circular. 
uh, you know, a circular uh, blue book. You know, get the blue What's book. That? They give you they give you a question you know, for the final. Oh, and then you write the answer. And then I would sit there and write a great big thing that came around. Teachers hated it, but there was nothing they could do because I'd say everything proper and end up back to the head. So, but you, you, I could go, I could fill up one of these little pamphlets, a blue book, what they call it. I just, I just write and write and write and write. And after a while, they get tired of reading. So, but what happened is, when you're cutting back at a news organization, editorial staff is almost always the first to go. Yeah. And they don't have the time anymore, so they, they'll sit there and they'll, they'll count, you know, because uh, word processors now will tell you how many words that you I got. Know, which is really nice. And they'll say, uh, you know, we're, our new word count is 400, and that's like 850. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and um, they'll, they, you, they'll tell you now you've got to go oof it down a bit, but if you've done from before, they're just going to action out. It's just easier to say you violated the terms of, you know, we have, well, the terms are that they can kick you out for any reason. And, uh, you know, we just thought the first one, the reason. You're telling people you work for Yahoo News. Nobody works for Yahoo News. Yahoo News is a conglomeration of a whole bunch of individuals and news organizations. Well, you, you just know. like Reuters? Is it Reuters like that? Yeah. Because so even when they go, for example, because we're around a lot of media, because we're talking about, it's like, you know, they are there, for example, like, oh, I'm trying to think. They're there for all sorts of things. Yeah. I mean, one of the first things to go were the photographers. Yeah, because they're not needed anymore because, because the cell phone. Eliminated. Yeah, so many people, so many things for cell phones, and then, you know, it's like, I've seen so many publications where the publication was never at the event. Yeah. They just took somebody else's pictures. In fact, I did some of that where somebody said, well, you submit this, and I'm like, okay, as long as we get credited. They didn't credit me for the photos. I know. Well, we sat there and submitted. In, in other words, they didn't pay for a photographer. No. They took your pictures, didn't give you credit didn't for it. Didn't give you credit for it. But, um, but here's the cute thing is that we were told specifically in the new guidelines, no more news. And how could you be fired from somebody that isn't even in existence anymore? What? Okay. The new they, they said no they knew they no longer want news submitted right. by by yeah. by the contributors. Yeah. And you know, that's why they, they changed the name. It is no longer the it is no longer news. It has got another name because the news no longer exists. So basically they just fired they we were fired by someone we never worked for from a, from a company that no longer exists. Which also means they didn't have to pay us for the work, the money they owed us. So. Oh, I hate that when that happens. Because when they do that, when your credit card changes, it's like you lose all your points. Yeah. And that's how it works, folks. So. Oh, like, yeah, that wouldn't be the first time that happened to anybody. Yeah. Right? That's never happened to you. No. Like, you were supposed to get paid all this money from a job. And so, well, you know, it's all those people that are close to retirement, right? Yeah. Right before your, what? Not your 20 year anniversary or 9 year, 10 yeah, year do. anniversary. I mean, that's how, uh, you my, saw that happen to your mom? Yeah, my mom, right before she was uh, supposed to have her retirement. My mother worked for a major corporate shop, built a company. Mm -hmm. Right before she was supposed to be retired, they fired her for doing her job. Mm -hmm. Because, first of all, they were going through, the company had been sold. The company didn't want anybody that were senior citizens working for the company anymore, so they were finding ways to ax them out and all of them before they were officially retired and their investments were in there. Uh, because uh, it, what it works is they, uh, with, with corporations, if you've got a retirement plan, they, they hit here, here, right, here, and so here. It all those and the highest one, you know, what happens is if, you, if you're fired before the highest one kicks in, they go down. To the lower one, the yeah. The lower one, yeah. So, so they don't have to pay you as much. So she, she went from like, um, Two fifty a year to a settlement of about eleven thousand total. I know that's really disgusting. I know, isn't that great? It's, it's really disgusting. All her stock options, everything were taken away. So, build up, build up a company. But then, funny too, is that right after? That's probably why unions got started. For unions got okay. Like unions basically um, got started because they wanted the workers weren't getting paid. They, they they didn't have those pension plans and stuff. They just wanted. You know, wages and health benefits is what they were after. The pension plans came in afterwards. Afterwards, but um, but if you do anything on the internet, you have to consider the internet is the most unreliable thing in the world to work for because 
I mean, we know people that have spent tens of thousands of dollars on equipment and uh, yeah. thought that they were moving up, and instead of moving up, they actually just wasted the money because they, you know, like they, they would buy the heavy shoulder mounted equipment so you can go from the online side over to the uh, broadcast, broadcast side. side. And then they found out that they're online. No, you know, you go back down the line, and, and so you spent this money. You spent ten thousand dollars. Yeah, ten thousand so dollars. Unless you were really planning on getting that already. Yeah, you just lose it because it's a wasted piece of equipment on on internet because you're using because we have various sizes cameras depending upon what we want to do. But if you're working for the internet, you expect to that you're going to uh, have everything. You know, you're going to be bounced from whoever you're going to get. Well, here's part of it is unless you're paying them, yeah. they're paying for the bandwidth. Yeah, it's their bandwidth. Right. It's just, we tell people about Google. It's Google. YouTube is owned by Google. Mm -hmm. It is their sandbox. They own all the sand in the sandbox, and you're being allowed to play in their sandbox, which is why we never really throw a lot of fits. We're sort of happy that we're allowed to stay on. You know, we wish we didn't have to start all over again once a year. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we do every year because if, if you're not getting um, enough, okay, what happens is Google is basically minor league ad supported. If you're not drawing enough attention to your videos, they remove your videos and you start all over again mm -hmm. and hope that the next time it happens. I mean, we've lost them. Um, 15 million plus views over on YouTube because we've lost. I mean, okay, we'll put it this way. Was anybody reading anything that we were writing? No. No. <laughs> really? They weren't reading anything we were writing anyway. I mean, I think the only people that were reading it were the people that were in the article. Yeah. And so that was it. Then, and, and what happened? I, oh, I, my guess is. What well, I mean, there were some people. Okay. Who, you know, okay. Like, one of the rules that I knew was broken was right. the people that basically in one of the reviews were basically ha having people come in and tell how this crappy movie was the greatest movie on the face of this planet. And they thought that you were probably, that we were, the, you, what happens is they'll tell you, I mean, don't go back and look at your own thing. Don't do it. And um, what was happening is that people weren't looking at the reviews, they were just making comments on the reviews because if they look at the review, the advertisements are, aren't ambient. You know, they're spread all around you. Mm -hmm. They were just writing comments about something they never looked at. And that's a no-no, so sort of like a... Um, yeah, but it's like on Facebook, it's people like things, but they're really looking at it. It's like, oh, look at that picture. No, like, but that's different. Okay. But because you, um, Facebook is counting clicks. Mm -hmm. You know, they got a click-through thing. Everybody that clicks a like thing is basically... Um, uh, basically, information is gathered on you the instant you click that thing. It says in the rules, I read them. So if you like somebody, they're harvesting info on you. Uh, and if you use your cell phone to like somebody, they're harvesting even more info on you. <laughs> but um, it, 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 which is funny, she's the business person, but I deal with all the technical garbage on everything. Statistics. 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 Which actually sounds funny because it should be, sounds like it should be the business person dealing with the stats. Yeah, but she doesn't, um, she really, okay, like, I didn't, I, I have been in this thing since, you know, for seven, almost 70 years now. I have, a, I know basically what this industry is like, and I've known, I've, I've um, okay, they asked me, why do you continually go to school? I went to, I, I just kept taking classes at college forever, and said, because there are things that I don't know, and the guys younger than me know them. So when I can talk, we both can talk intelligently on a god-awful amount of fields. Mm -hmm. um, Here's the trick is that the people that fired us don't know that we got a more impressive resume than what we put down. We put down well, a bare skeleton thing. We put bare, down a bare skeleton because it might scare people. Yeah, it scares people. <laughs> so uh, we, you know, so, but, um, I mean, if... Because remember the first time we applied for the one? It's like they did not know what to do, do oh, with yeah. us. Actually, they never, ever responded. They didn't respond to us, you know, so... Because, because we actually did tell them... A, a little bit about the experience. We filled in a really good, uh, you know, background thing on on one of the publication internet publications, and it sort of scared the hell out of them because I've got. Uh, they they never responded. Even when we asked them questions, they never responded. Because I mean, I do have I have doctors in history, cinematography, um, art, and and veterinary medicine. But see, the trick was they all, were, I had tons of time to kill while I was taking one class to fill in. I also knew somebody else and I wanted to 
be around with her, so I went to the classes a lot. You end up getting degrees. You don't Boy, need. it's that photographic memory. But, no, but it is. I do have a master's degree in mass communication. I've been working in the news business since 1950. That's 61 years, Come on, folks. you can tell them. You read, like you guys used to talk about geeky. You, they would read the entire book before the semester started. Yeah. So I could go in and I would, you know, the teacher would say, and teachers don't read the books. You know, you get a teacher. They, they assign books because they get a rake off for them. You know, the, they used to do it, you know, well, you know, God, these books, you know. That, you know, how would you know? You basically, the teacher would pick up a book like this and like this and this, this one, this one. That, they, that's how the book would be picked for a class. Mm -hmm. By the weight of it, because it meant it had got off a lot of pages in it, they could get. It meant, okay, this book is $25, this book is $125. Which book? They both say the same thing, basically, this one's shorter, this one's bigger. Which book do you think the teacher always picked? The big one? Yeah. Always. Emphatically, they would pick the big one, so. Uh, but uh, they, I would go film classes. I took, I took films at two different classes. Two, I took broadcasting one college film and another one. But we basically, in order to do stuff, you basically had to have your own equipment. Because there, you're, there's too many students and they check out equipment. Basically, what happened, equipment's almost always out when you want it. So, you know, well, I can't tell you where to get uh, this equipment, but if you go to such and such on La Chuanga and tell them I sent you, they'll give you a good deal. Yeah. And they say, well, I mean, actually, one of the first first girls I ever went out with, I never went out with her. <laughs> she was the she she was the daughter of the owner of the film processing company, you know. And I, I replaced her with the woman I actually did end up marrying, so which it did work out fairly well. But, um, you know, and, uh, you know, they would say, you know, in the class, you know, I can't tell you which processor to lose in the city of Los Angeles, but they'll give you a discount if you mention my name over at this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lens company. Well, you want some expendables? I can't tell you to go over to this place, but if you go here and mention my name, and all the teachers would tell you if you mention our name, they can get discounts. And, you knew, and they knew the film students needed the stuff. I mean, God. When I got into broadcasting, I mean, I, 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 I went out and bought, you know, a camera. 